Hey everybody, Raven here. Today I'm going to share with you some amazing local coin shop pickups that we had in recent times. I'm really excited about what's on the table because some of these things you don't see very often and some of them are in amazing condition for their age and have really good numismatic value. Matter of fact, I want to start off with this 1772 Great Britain George III Two Pence Monde. This thing is, or Mondi, these are really, really cool. This is in amazing condition, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at how gorgeous this little coin is. Could you imagine if it could tell us its history? Unreal. But it came with a little buddy, a silver penny Mondi, George III again, 1772, very, very great condition on this one as well. It's amazing that these have survived this long and in that nice of condition. For those of you don't, that don't know, Mondi money was money that was given out by the royalty to the peasants during uh, these times. And it, it was, you know, held on to by most peasants because they got it directly from somebody in the, you know the royal court, so to speak. So very, very cool coins. The history to those is just absolutely amazing. We have a beautiful 1902 BU Morgan. This thing is blast white. My dealer thinks it's at least an MS-64. He's a little conservative at times, and we all know that the New Orleans mints get a little bit of extra... Um, leeway when it comes to grading so that's a really nice one to see in that kind of condition then we have a beautiful 1887 nolens which i put in upside down here's the obverse the reverse though look at that gorgeous toning across the back which they would call that target toning um very pretty cool i'm it's kind of funny that i put it in upside down and didn't realize it but hey it's all good. What do you do? All right. 1962 Un Half Balboa from Panama. This one is 90% silver and is BU T full. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, BU example there. Another Balboa, but this one's from 66 and this one's only 40% silver. Um, very, very cool item to get anybody's hands on. I really like it. <laughs> All right, next item up for grabs, or not for, for grabs. Next item that we found was this 2002 Lunar Series 10 ounce Australian $10 chunky piece of silver. And these you don't see too often in my neck of the woods. So when I saw this, I had to grab it. Um, some of these will go in the deep stack. Some will go into the auctions that are upcoming. We have the Sioux Chief. We got two of these, actually. This is the, the obverse and reverse, and I set it out this way. So these are actually duplicates. Uh, the next one is the Sioux Chief. And the Sioux next to the TP. There's no markings on the coins. That's just from people handling the capsules. Very, very neat set of rounds there. We have some really cool kookaburras right here. This is a 2010. I really like when they do the reverse proof style on the birds. I think it's pretty neat. We have a 2011. And then we have one with a privy. And this is 2017. I'm not sure what the privy is. Let's see if we can, we can focus in on it and see. Oh, it's a bear. It's a panda. That's pretty cool. I didn't even realize that. I knew it was some type of privy. I just didn't look at it close enough till now. Then we had these really cool commemoratives in this Olympic style holder from PCGS. These are 1998 Philly. Um... And it's a Proof 69 Deep Cameo, 20th anniversary of the Olympics. This is one of 500, it says. Pretty darn neat. The next one is a 95. 
Oh, you know what? I think they're both... I think they're both 95, and I made the mistake on on the year um, because they're the same kind of coin. But this one is the uh, relay for the Paralympic, it says. Pretty darn cool. One of 500 as well. So these came in some type of set, and I thought that was a neat pickup. I'd never seen these labels before. Whenever you see something you, you've never seen before, it looks unique. Usually a good idea if you can afford it to pick it up. Got my hands on one of these gorgeous U.S. Mint 225th Anniversary uh, American Liberties. This is a pre-F69 Ultra Cameo, NGC slabbed and certified. This is actually one of my favorite uh, metals out there. They call it a metal. Um, they should have just named it a coin, but it is considered a metal. And uh, I think they did a really good job on the artwork there. All right, this is one of my absolute favorite pickups. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen, in an old aspirin style, or yeah, they call these aspirin holders, the Annex 1980 Denver with an amazing lamination air. You could almost call them Two-Face. Um, that thing is epic to see that copper in there and the coin come out this way, and the, the reverse is just perfect, and the obverse is really really cool if you see something like that definitely grab it because these have a hefty value they have this graded at an ms63 it's something that i would almost be tempted to pop out and get it cross graded but at the same time annex is a very good coin to have when it comes to air coins they command the same money so technically it's really not necessary to pop it out all right, 2011. These are made by Daniel Carr. This is called the Una Amerios. Amerios. These things are beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. I was very lucky to get my hands on three of them. And they command quite a hefty premium um, because Daniel Carr is kind of a famous guy who does some really cool stuff with making his own coins. Matter of fact, we have some three or we have three more coins from him that are ounces. These are all half ounces. Uh, this next one here is from 2011, or 2012, sorry. It's the Una 20 Ameros Winged Liberty Head. I mean, look at the gorgeousness. I mean, this guy is very talented, and I feel very fortunate to get my hands on these. This is probably my favorite one out of the group, and this is the uh, Indian Chief. Again, he calls these Ameros. Very neat coin. And the next one is with the Panther. It's called Liberty and Puma. So I said Panther, but Liberty and Puma. And as you can see here, one Troy ounce satin finish designed by Daniel Carr. Very cool. Now the last two items are pretty epic. This is a 1921 high relief piece dollar in AU. Actually, that should say AU plus, but it's AU condition at least. The reverse is beautiful. Um, depending on who grades it, it might even get you know a higher grade than what I think it is. But as for now, that sucker is gorgeous. It has cartwheeling. I think because it's not just super cartwheeling, I think it would stay at the AU range. But this is a coin that is hard to get in higher grades and uh, something that I don't get to get my hands on very often. All right, last but not least is this beautiful 1884 Carson City Morgan Silver Dollar NGC certified and very, very cool. Now, some people, when they look at Carson Cities, I'm going to tell you a little something about them. Carson Cities, just like New Orleans coins, get a little bit of leeway if you have one that's raw and you, you're wondering if it's going to grade well uh, they get a little leeway because they were uh, transported in wagons and carriages and the coins bounced and smacked against each other quite a bit but it is a epic coin to have in anyone's collection that thing is beautiful my favorite though i think on the day is probably the 21 piece dollar 
I just because I don't see them often. All right, if you want to correspond, it's ravenhawkcoins at gmail.com. The P.O. Box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Ravenhawk Coins, have a great day.